Can you force the insurance company to settle your case? <sighs> Not really. It's tough to force the insurance company to settle a case quickly. You can force a case to settlement and either the insurance company will settle or you can take it to trial and the judge will issue an award. But the bottom line is if the insurance company is dragging their feet and saying, hey, we don't want to settle right now, forget it. What can you do to force them to settle? Not bloody much. So take a step back. Of course, there's two ways to settle a workers' comp case. One would be with stipulations with request for award. The other one would be with a compromise and release. So most insurance companies are happy to enter into a compromise and release if you're no longer employed with that employer. So if you're still employed there, they generally don't want a compromise and release because you could get hurt again tomorrow. They're right back on the hook with liability. But if you're not employed there anymore, the insurance company generally likes a compromise and release because you can be very creative with those. You can explain to the judge why you're doing it early, if you want to move out of state, if you are recovered with no problems. But that type of thing insurance companies usually like. But if you're still employed there or if the insurance company just says, forget it, you sprained your ankle, you're demanding $300,000 and the insurance company says, forget it, we'll just keep going with the case. How can you force them to settle? So if you can't force them into a compromise and release, you could try to force them into stipulations with request for award. But to do that, you're really going to need a permanent and stationary report, an MMI, Maximal Medical Improvement. Either you get that from your primary treating physician or you need to go to a QME. Once you get that rateable report, once that doctor, either the PTP or the QME says your PNS, here's your rateable impairment, then you can generally enter into stipulations with request for award with the insurance company. So if you're still employed there, the insurance company just doesn't want to do a CNR. They will generally enter into stips at that time. Because if you take stips to the board, the judge is going to want to see some sort of rateable report. Why are you settling at 4% permanent disability or 25% permanent partial disability? The judge wants to see a report that's substantial evidence explaining how you and the insurance company got there. So let's say you get that report, you get hurt at work, you're doing better, the insurance company doesn't want to settle, you request a QME from the state, it comes after a couple of weeks, you wait a month or two for the exam, you wait another month for the report, you get the report, the insurance company's still dragging their feet, still saying, we don't want to move into stips right yet. Let's just wait a little bit. Basically, what you're going to have to do is file a DOR and take the case to a hearing. And at that point, if the insurance company still doesn't want to settle with stips, you're going to have to force it to trial so that a judge issues a findings and award, which is basically going to be the same thing as stipulations with requests for award. Permanent disability will get paid out over time every two weeks. You'll have open future medical care for whatever accepted body parts there are. And it's not really a settlement, but you're forcing a claim to resolution. So how do you force an insurance company to settle? You can't really force them into a CNR at all, just like they can't force you into a CNR. You can't necessarily force them into stips, but you can kind of drag them kicking and screaming to the board so that if they don't enter into stips, then at least you can get a judge to issue a findings and award. So if you want to do it quickly, hopefully you can enter into a CNR. If not, you're probably looking at six to eight months in a quick system. By the time you request a panel, get to the doctor, get a permanent and stationary report, get it rated by the DEU, file a declaration of readiness to proceed, get to the board, and then if you end up setting it for trial, it may be a few more months after that, and you say, Lusk! Eight months, a year for a quick settlement? Unfortunately, in workers' comp, a year for a quick settlement is not uncommon. If you have questions regarding this video, drop us a comment down below. And if you found this video helpful, hit the like button.